It's Monday morning, big puddle on the yard. That needs fixing. Two wagons here already before it's fully light. And we've also got a problem with the ash oil on the boiler, that tripped in the night as well. So the other night it had a lump of the chipper in it because we're in it, in it. We had a little bit of a failure on the chipper last week while I was away. A, uh, something went through, knocked the holder off. That went round, took out about 12 other holders. So Rob spent a good day or so last week rebuilding it. Anyway, I think one's here for barley and one's here for OSR. So we'll get them loaded, get them out the yard. The lads might have a look at the boiler, see what we need to do. We now have a new Weybridge screen. Wagon's just pulling on now, so I'm gonna weigh him and print him. Just, no one showed me how to use it, so I'm just gonna see if I can figure it out. Uh, I think so, I presume that turs it was on tur anyway when he come on. That's saying that there's something moving on it, which is pretty handy. It's clever that, isn't it? Now, I presume that. Do you want to print? Yes. Ta-da! Just going to reset. The way loader on the bucket. Last time it was reset, it was 945 tonne ago. There we go, that's him loaded now. His way is reading whatever it needs to as well on the chassis there. It's a bit of a monster of a scan, yeah. 71 plate, pretty new in it. Just under the boiler, this ash org is completely jammed. I'm just trying to ratchet strap it out now. I'm going to try sledgehammering it back while the ratchet strap's holding it. That's the problem. That stuck in. Whoa! Hold on! It's a hammer! There we go. What a pain. Uh, that is the second one I've been in as many weeks. Just notice this bearing on here has gone as well in the cell lock, so if you've got one, we'll change that today. It's obviously been gone for a while. You can't see any remnants of it falling, all the bearings falling out. But if we've got one in this shop, we'll swap it. If not, we'll order one for tomorrow. All going now. Problem is, that shaft, because it jammed up, has got bent. So we're going to have to get a tube on it now and try and tweak it straight. Got this tube now, which is pretty long. We'll try and put it on that shaft. <laughs> and pry down on it. Rob's just going to turn it from the other end into the right place. Ready? Yeah! Go on! A little bit! <laughs> Whoa! Try that! Oh no, a tiny bit more! Right! Put the tube on it now and try that. No, just try bright stand on that now. Ready? Yeah. Go on, all the way. It's a little bit. There. Right, hold on, let's take it off so it's done. No, it's still bent. We might have to turn it the other way and lift up with it because we're hitting the floor with the tube. Okay. Go on, up, 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 up. Up, up, up. Keep going. Yeah. All the pipes. Right, see what that looks like now. That looks a lot better, I think. But it still could probably go a bit more. Do we do a rotation, see what it looks like? Yeah, turn it back 15 minutes. Go on, keep going. Well, hold it there now. Yeah. Try again with the tube. Go on. Turning. Just spinning in the shaft, isn't it? Right, Rob's holding it to the end with ball grips. I'm going to put this on the tube on. Try and swim on it. Hey! 
think that's a lot better now. That looks pretty straight really compared to how it was. Just turn it now, get the keyway in the right place and then we'll slide. Just go to back on. There we go, it's working now. That's better, I think we've got that pretty straight to be fair, considering it's like a banana. It's like nearly an inch out of square. The other day I said that I was going to go to Tool Station, not screw fix, because Tool Station is often cheaper. Anyway, Frank's relation, one of Frank's relations works at Screw Fix and sent me a hat that said no they're not. So you must you may as well go and check out Screw Fix anyway. But also look, these teal hats are back in stock along with a load of others and a load of hoodies that have arrived as well. So if you want to go and check them out on the website and also as well, we're gonna try and make it if we can set the website up. So if you spend over 50 quid, you get a free calendar because there's a few left in the bottom of the box we found. Dave's just gonna chip some OSR straw now. Get out of the sun. <laughs> so you can see, chip some OSR straw now for horse bedding. So we just brought a few bales around now for the throw through before he starts on this pile and doing more chip. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. I've just been, it's written down on Andrew's toolbox, I've just been working out how much wheat I've got left to sell. I've got a thousand and fifty ton of wheat still to market. And if I'd have sold it all at the high, which was three, four, five, well, it's probably a little bit higher, but I sold some at three, four, five the day I ordered my fertilizer. Now it's down to about 228 for March movement. If I sold it all then, it was 129,000 pounds, worth 129,000 pounds more than it is now. I was hoping it'd go back up. I think everyone is. It still could go back up, and I still don't really need to price it yet because we're dealing with open field. We can actually draw a certain percentage of the fund, what you call it your fund value. So I can take the money before I've sold the grain. So that's what I've been doing, and then hoping that it's going to go back up, and then I can sell at, that, at the better price. But I've, at least I've had cash flow up until now and, and in, in for the next few months. But by by May. I probably might have to start shifting some of it unless I'd like make the decision to build another shed, which I don't think is possible in the time frame and the cost. But yeah, it's so annoying that it's lost that much money just by being sat in the shed. Uh, I know three, four, five was a sh stupid high for it, but when you buy and fertilize at three times the cost, it didn't look expensive. It looked like it should start with a four. And it seems bad not wanting to sell at 228 when 12 months ago, 228 was unheard of. But it's just, just gambling, rolling the dice every time, isn't it? The lads have just finished chopping OSR straw now. There's a huge pile of it here now. They put some in bags and there's, they're just filling some more up. But look at that, lovely stuff. Cheaper than shavings if you've got a horse as well. Just filling these bags. They filled some at the back of the belt, but it comes out that fast. So we're just topping them up now with the, with the grab. Just having my dinner now, I've just been doing a Zoom meeting with some colleagues of Adam Henson, member from Country File that came out in the summer. They're going to do a series of podcasts about mental health. So we're just pulling all the people together to help with doing them. So hopefully that'll be happening soon and we might even record them as well and put some of them on YouTube. Following on from what I've just been doing in the house about the Zoom meeting, it is obviously Blue Monday today. So... UTV lights, we've talked to them about it, how good Lama was and how many people have seen them, whatever. Anyway, if you want some blue lights for your sprayer, if you use the discount code that's across the bottom of the screen now, they're going to knock 5% off because it's Blue Monday just to cheer everyone up. But also, I want you all to put how you're feeling today as a percent. That's what answer as a percent means in all the titles. How are you feeling as a percent? Let me know in the comments. And if anyone's feeling a little bit less than 70 or whatever, let's see if we can help them out. 33. Can it, can it not count? You have to count for him. No, that's something that could be sold. He's moving up for the better. All oh, right. <laughs> Andrew's been brewing some bales from one side of the road to the other side of the road because the wagon coming tomorrow. And I thought he'd got Ian counting for him as he went past, but it turns out he didn't know how many he had to bring round. So there we go. Thing as well. You could, well, it could do it. Right. Tomorrow I have a meeting with the police, so it's basically a debrief of the tractor run. And we're going to try and get the total as near to as we can of how much money we've raised. So we put some stuff on eBay, absolutely amazing. We've done all that. Guy donated a stay in his holiday lodge, but we haven't been able to put it on eBay because the people have been messing us around buying some of the other stuff and eBay have like suspended our account. So if you want to stay 
So if you want a weekend break in mid Wales at these lodges, I'll leave the website below and you can have a look. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna have an auction in the comments. So if you wanna say, I will bid 100 quid, someone else reads through and goes, oh, actually I'll bid 120. We'll do that and then by tomorrow, hopefully we'll have auctioned it off and then we can have an up-to-date total of what we have raised for the track run when we have the police debrief tomorrow. And someone obviously will have a, a weekend break away in mid Wales. Anyone local, like I eat, in the buggies drive distance away, we've got plenty of bags of horse bedding now, £20 a bag. I'm not driving all over the northwest of it though, but we've got some here if you want to try it, which works out a lot cheaper than um, a bag of shavings, which apparently is a tenner a bag now, and the bags are like tiny. Just thought I'd show you this here. These have been under hay caps for two years in this row. So like not last year, not, not 2022 harvest, 2021 harvest. And they are absolutely mint, bone dry. That's what we've been chopping for the horse bedding. Obviously the corners, the edges look, look weathered, but it's still dry and they're still golden in the middle. So these are two year old bales that didn't have hay caps on. The difference is unbelievable, isn't it? The chipper's running over there. We got something going for the dryer there on the, in the cleaner. Hope you can hear me for the birthday bump back. But anyway, Martin Mason is 34, Debbie Bly is 40, Keith Inch is 38, Andrew Lewis and Charlie Mason is five. Happy birthday to everyone on that and anyone else whose birthday is. I'm going to try and go out of the noise. Uh, I had someone complaining yesterday because I didn't um, say the names doing the birthday bump back. Well, I don't promise to do that. I, I do it to raise money for the air ambulance. But it's very difficult geographically to be stood by the Bateman or the buggy when I have things to do. So sometimes I do have to do them virtually by putting the names on the screen and on it, which actually takes more effort than using a pen because the pen, I just read it off my phone, write it on and, and read them out. Whereas when I have to do that, I have to keep copying and pasting, copying and pasting in and out of two different apps. And it's really fiddly, but that is the worst part of doing the videos is, is the birthday bumper because that means I can't edit a video till late on in the afternoon to make sure that I get everyone on for the birthday. Otherwise, I get loads of messages going, you've missed me off. Well, the reason I've missed someone off is because they've not put them on the birthday bumper till like three, four o'clock in the afternoon. And it's missed the, the deadline, if you will. It needs to be in the morning of the birthday. It also means that I can't pre-make a video. I can't make a video because I want a day off and just say, here's today's video because I have to do it every day because of the birthday bumper. Like the other day, I went around the class factory. It was, it was, but you all know it was filmed on Friday because that was when I was there or yeah, Friday. But I couldn't put the video out on, I couldn't edit it all on Friday and just give it out on Saturday and Sunday. You know, I have to do it every single day because that is for the birthday. So it is a lot of work. So please don't complain if it's not read out and I've had to do it virtually. That's just, just the way it is. Um, and I don't promise to be able to do that. So they also suggested maybe I could get Ian to come in. Well, Ian's entitled to a day off as well, you know, so it's just, it is what it is. But yeah, there we go. A little bit of a rant about that. But uh, if you are wanting to be on the birthday bumper, do it early enough and hopefully it will be on the day of your birthday. But I can't promise it will be read out. It could just be an end screen like I did and I have done in the past when I've not been near the yard. Anyway, that is about all for today. It's Chinese New Year up our way. It's actually Blue Monday, Blue Hats back in stock. Um, so I'm going to try and knock off early because some friends have organised for us to go to our local Chinese restaurant where they've got a dragon. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry, yeah, I better just mention again, if you did want to go to the Holiday Lodge a weekend away, the link to their website is below this video so you can check it out and then leave a bid in the comments of what you prefer to pay for it. And then that way then we can sort of like auction it off raise some money for the track run and we hopefully should know the total by the morning to so check out the link below this video and um if you're interested in going or just check them out anyway if you want to go anytime the other thing as well that i need to just mention i said if you spend over 50 quid on merchandise you'll get a free calendar that's just to the first 25 people because otherwise we will run out of calendars hopefully so there you go thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow